Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. It's Wednesday, January 13th, 2021, and we are broadcasting today right from San Jose Middle School. Here's a picture of the PE Command Center. Here's Ms. Mitchell in control of everything. So just want to give you a picture of what's going on when you're not here on campus. I know Ms. McEachern has been talking to you a lot about what the expectations are for you and what our expectations are so that you can be successful in the new school year. So I just wanted to go over uh, one or two little items that she talked to you about maybe yesterday. Just a reminder that personal devices such as cell phones, um, we're not expecting to see them in the school environment. The best way to handle this is to turn off your phone when you um, get to school and put it in your backpack. Uh, it certainly should be silenced and it certainly should not be visible. Uh, there's a series of uh, warnings that happen here until finally, if we can't help you control your phone in your possession, it'll mean that you have to drop it off in the office every day. We're serious about this, students. These devices are distracting for you and also for other students. So when you're on campus, we don't want to see them. Uh, Ms. McEachern also talked to you about appropriate use of cell phones and how there are some things that just can't happen. So taking pictures of others in a school setting without their permission, posting information about others and teachers and school-related social media posts, we're just not going to be able to tolerate that. So these kinds of situations will cause deep conversations with you and your parents and Ms. McEachern and me. So we're asking you to really learn to control those, um, those behaviors. So it's a privilege to have these personal devices and we're gonna try to help you learn to control your use of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ms. Um, Mastro and all of the yearbook team are working so very hard to make a great yearbook for an amazing year. So you have an opportunity to help her. Please send pictures to sjmsyearbook2021 at gmail.com. I'll tell you when the yearbooks come out, everyone wants to leave through and say, oh, is there a picture of me? Is there a picture of my friends? So make sure that you are helping out and making a great yearbook for us. You can still pick up Scholar Dollar Prizes after school from 2.45 to 3.30 every day at school. Here's the schedule for today, students. It's a fifth and sixth period day, so make sure that seventh and eighth graders, you get yourself to school, uh, get yourself online, excuse me, and be there for your fifth period class, not tardy. So you should be logged in, ready to go at 8.15 so that when your teacher brings it up, you're ready to go. Uh, Sixth graders, cohort A, you're going to come here in the morning at 8.20. We're expecting to see you at 12.45. If you are cohort B, there's lots of asynchronous work to do, and that's, if, that's what you should be doing when you are not at school. There are two hours of work for you today. There's a dine and donate today at um, Mi Pueblo. Don't miss it because they're going to give us money back if you go eat there, and we can support a local business. Uh, students, a reminder that we do have school on Friday, the 15th, but we do not have school on Monday, January 18th. And the reason that we don't have school is because it's Martin Luther King Day. On this day, every year, we set aside time to recognize this important civil rights leader and his legacy. We'll be talking more about this a little bit in the announcements, and I'm sure teachers will be talking to you about it as well. All right, students, it's Wednesday. I've gone over the schedule for you, but I want you to remember you have two hours of work that you need to do on your own today. I know this is hard to ask, but I feel that you can do it. So take a look, log into your Google Classroom for periods one, two, three, and four. And of course, make it a great day.